Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to manage potentially spammy comments on your WordPress website with a blacklist. Now, what is a blacklist? A blacklist is simply a list of negative keywords or you know words that you really don't wanna show up in the comment section of your WordPress website. And what we do with this blacklist is basically anytime somebody makes a comment on your WordPress website, we're gonna check the content of that comment against the words in your blacklist. And if the comment contains any of those words, we're gonna immediately send it to the trash, right? So these are uh, a lot of bad words, um, negative words, uh, and you can add any words that you specifically want. We're gonna be working with a list that I have acquired through um, you know, research on the internet about specific words that are associated with spammy comments. So there is no plugin for this. This is a feature that's built right into WordPress. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you can implement this on your WordPress website. Okay, so we're gonna be working with my website, Serial Guru. It's just a blog where I write about Serial. And what we're gonna do is go into the WordPress admin dashboard here. And under the settings and discussion section, we're gonna come down and we're gonna be working with specifically two areas here, the disallowed comment keys and before a comment appears section. So right now, the way I have my WordPress website set up is Anybody who posts a comment on one of my blog posts, it's gonna be immediately public because I do not have this checkbox checked. And the only reason it wouldn't be immediately public is if it contains one of the words from our blacklist. And WordPress doesn't use um, the blacklist terminology, they call it disallowed comment keys. So I have this um, list of you know bad words, negative words, and I'll have that linked in the description below if you wanna use that on your website. It's, you know, some of them are, I don't even wanna like go through them, but these first couple here are Russian characters. There's a lot of Russian spam going around. You might've seen that on your website. Um, and then just some other like words that you probably don't want in the comments section of your WordPress website. So um, anyway, you can, there, there's another option here, you can, manually approve every single comment, but that's a lot of work, especially if you're getting a lot of comments on your website. Um, and you can do that just by checking that box up here. But I think this is a better setup to, you know, filter out immediately right off the top, any comments that contain these words. So just as a demonstration, let's go ahead and post two comments to my website, one containing one of these negative words and another one that does not contain it just to show how that works. So I'm gonna go, uh, this was already in here, but I'm just gonna go and save this for good measure. And what I'm gonna do is open up a new uh, tab here. No, we'll open up a guest window and go to serial.guru. And I'm gonna pick a blog post here. Let's pick Jolly Rancher Serial. I'll come down to the bottom and I'm gonna write, you know, like a good comment here. So like something like, hey, Tony, great post, keep, up the good work something like that right so i'll put my name is tony my email is tony at gmail.com this doesn't actually have to be your email surprise surprise and we'll post that comment and when that posts we can go back to our wordpress admin dashboard go to our comments section and you'll see that um, we are looking at all comments, but this one is approved. If we go to the approved section, we'll see that under here as well. So Tony at gmail.com. Hey, Tony, great post. Keep up the good work. So that's exactly how that's supposed to work. How about a negative keyword? So let's go to our settings discussion and we'll pick one of these keywords down here. Um, we'll pick uh, uh, loan. Okay, that's like a semi-safe word. So let's go back over to that um, this guest window and we'll pick another, you know, we can use the same one, the same blog post, but just for variety, we'll go in here and we'll say, um, are you interested in a loan, Tony? I have one for you, please contact me something like that something spammy right so we'll say this is from tony um you know this or, you know we'll pick just to keep it different we'll say if this one's from bill 
uh, bill at gmail.com and we'll post that comment. So now if we go back to our WordPress admin dashboard and we go to the comment section, we don't see that comment right here at the top like we did last time, but we do see there is a comment in the trash can and that is the one from bill at gmail.com. Are you interested in a loan, Tony? I have one for you, please contact me. So because that comment contained loan, the keyword loan and loan was in our blacklist that got sent right to the trash and we'll never have to worry about it again. So um, I think that's it guys. If you have any questions about blacklists on WordPress, disallowed keywords, any of that, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you got some value out of it, subscribe to this channel for more content along the lines of WordPress security, spam comments, all that stuff. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.